What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video for my Road to Mars series. I'm using my new overlay. I've just made this thing. Um, hopefully you guys think it's cool. I hope so. If you don't, let me know like what your feedback is and stuff. But this is going to be the idea of like I have my champion pool up there now, which I made the other day of stuff that I'm going to try and play most of the time if I get these roles. Um, obviously it's only AD in jungle at the moment because that's what I'm queuing as on this account for now. Maybe I will vary it up a little bit. Um, I could put on like what I'm going to play support AD at uh, support mid and top maybe. I don't really have any room right now, but yeah, um, I could maybe put that somewhere. Who knows? Hopefully you guys enjoy the new overlay. I have another one for Unranked to Diamond as well, though it's not really as flashy because like I don't have a champion pool for Unranked to Diamond, right? I'm going to play everything within reason so i don't have anything to put there at the moment uh if you have any suggestions i can put stuff there i guess but i guess i'll probably say that in the uh in the unranked time video when i get around to that so actually you know what i think tomorrow's unranked diamond is already recorded yeah it is wait no no actually no it's not no it's not so i can yeah it's from tomorrow my unranked diamond one will start but i made these for the road to masters today and then yeah, so the the unranked diamond today will still be the old overlay, but then like earlier today, obviously, but then um, tomorrow everything should be brand new, and you guys can see. So so far we've actually like got a pretty decent team comp ish. But we have no tank. They don't have really have much of a tank either, but they have kind of like um hybrid tanks like the Vi and the Irelia Leona. These guys are pretty. Well, Leona's a pure tank, but like Irelia and Vi are kind of these hybrid tanks, which might be a little bit of a pain in the ass for us to deal with. I think. But we'll see. I mean, Rengar is pretty solid. You guys know we have a specific plan when we go into these games with uh, Rengar because we build, like, cooldown reduction and we just go absolutely nuts, I guess. Um, we'll see how, how that works. <laughs> like, exactly how it works. But I hopefully it should be pretty good. Like, I'm pretty confident this should work. Um, we're going to go for, like, our Warrior, Ghost Blade, Shiv kind of combo. Maybe Infinity Edge afterwards. Who really knows? We'll see what we, we want to throw in after that. We could get like a Sterix to be kind of tanky and still burst, but I kind of feel like, you know, having the one shot there would be nice. This is the other part of the new overlay. So it automatically switches over now to this. So I don't have to, you know, my face is going to be a bit smaller in this one because it's just like into the game. And hopefully this works. Like I, I've spent a little while trying to make it work. It should all be good though. It looks like it, it kind of moved, transferred like seamless, seeming, seamlessly. Seamlessly, I think that's what I'm looking for, which is nice. All right, so let's have a look at the matchups and stuff. Um, Lucian and Brand, I feel like should beat Corky and Leon. Wait, Corky with Ignite? Holy moly, that's aggressive. Um, I mean, Corky's pretty strong early, but like only after Sheen, in my opinion. Before that, I don't think he does very much damage, but Leon does load, so maybe that will like balance it out. Um, we have a Velkoz though against Vega. I think Velkoz should destroy that matchup because Vega's like a late game. Velkoz is pretty decent early. Rengar and Vi. I think Vi actually wins that. Um, I hate playing Rengar into Vi because whenever I dive in, she just presses R and it immediately crowd controls me. There's nothing I can do and I just get blown up. So that's going to really suck. I'm going to have to be a bit careful about that, like diving in. Uh, Pantheon and Irelia. Pantheon should win, especially with Ignite, but it's going to depend on the jungle matchup. So I might have to like babysit him a bit and make sure that he doesn't actually just die all the time. If Vi comes in and ganks the Pantheon and Aurelia gets ahead, then I think Aurelia will just like farm him over and over and over. Don't think there's really much he can do. So I need to be topside and kind of try and help him there. I might do a quicker like uh, clear so that I can maybe stop that happening and be the first one to top lane. Not entirely sure, but we'll see how that goes. I mean, Corky will be a good lane to gank because... He doesn't have any, like, defensive summoner apart from Flash. He doesn't have any heal or anything, uh, which would be kind of nice. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Anyway, welcome to the rest of you guys. We're into another Road to Master today, uh, playing some more Rengar. I, I really want AD carry. Like, I'm queuing up as AD, by the way. Like, I really want to play AD, but um, I'm not getting it. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, unfortunately. Not much I can do, though. Like, I have to just like, play, obviously. I don't really want to dodge just, from, just for that roll. Uh, I mean, actually, as it stands right now, my jungle win rate is probably a bit, <laughs> a bit higher, but yeah. Hopefully, like, you guys still enjoy watching the jungle stuff. I am picking aggressive junglers, like, that I can carry with, so it's going to be... It won't be boring games for you to watch, that's for sure. Um, and we are obviously playing a, a lovely Rengar today. Uh, oh, snap, there's actually Velkos top. Okay, I'm guessing these guys are pre-made, because... Uh, Okay, well, alright. 
I guess what I was just saying about the matchup stuff is like that doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Like Pantheon is against Vega. Pantheon should dick on him. If he doesn't, there's something really wrong. And then Vega, I mean, I really should probably win that, right? Like diving in and just like combos and stuff. I don't know. I don't actually know, but I guess now my plan was like to snowball the Pantheon a bit, and then maybe I'm gonna have to like protect him mid still. I don't really know, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I kind of want to, I actually want to gank like every lane. I really, I'm a bit afraid to gank, but I feel like I should because if she gets out of control, she's like really deadly. Um, let me just move my mic a bit closer. I don't want to like scream into it, but like at the same time, you guys have been saying it's a bit quiet recently. I have made it, you know, a bit louder uh, recently, so that should help a little bit. Okay, that was like the worst leash in the world. That's actually going to hurt a little bit because I started refillable potions. Um, yeah, like I lost half my health. That's really not good. Because <laughs> uh, I started refillables, it means that uh, that's really going to suck for me, I think. Okay, let's just try and see what I can do as much as possible. Oh, I'm not even going to kill these, am I? I had this issue last time as well, and I thought maybe I was taking the wrong runes or something. I don't know. Bollocks. All right, well, maybe I'm going to have to just base after my first, like, you know, clear or something. I still have the the stun stuff like on my Vi could actually be in this bush and she could just kill me right now. Thankfully she's not. I don't know why I face checked that to be honest. If I knew that she might actually be here, because I'm so low, I kinda wanna like ward that so that it doesn't happen and I don't die. Now I have my smite. Nice. That's why you don't that's why you bring heal boys to bot lane, that's very dumb. But I'm gonna smite this a bit early just to make sure I don't uh die here. So we, we managed to survive the um the early thing. Oh, okay. So Vi is like Vi side top. Interesting. I'm really low, so I'm just gonna base. I don't really wanna fight this if I'm honest. Okay, I I, I mean I'll fight it if Brand's here, but like I feel, I feel like he knows. So just just flash on him. Okay, I'm not even gonna get in. Whoa, Brand, you freaking mo- Auto him! Ah! Oh, <laughs> what a clown fiesta! What is this game? Okay. Brand is stealing all of the Pantheon's experience as well. This is diamond. This is like almost diamond, boys. This is almost diamond, and that is what happens. The Brand roam was good. It was just like the stuff that happened after was not good. Okay, so I could get some damage here. I might actually get my um, this so I could get a bit of a better clear. It's a bit more health, uh, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to go for that. Bit more of a sustainy clear, which will be cool. And then I will transition like into the rest of the stuff. Like, honestly, I don't really like upgrading my smite that early into the game because I don't think it really offers me anything. Like, this doesn't really give me that much. Like, what does it give me? Extra 10 life still? A little bit more life still, that's basically it. So it doesn't really give me enough, I don't think, to justify getting it that early. I'd rather get the damage and rush into cooldown reduction. Remember when we play Pan uh, when we play Pantheon? When we man, I'm just obsessed with Pantheon boys. When we play Rengar on this account, we um go for like very heavy cooldown reduction. Oh, you dead boy. Uh oh, he didn't die, okay. Interesting. Um, I'm just gonna like ward here just in case. I think I really might flash onto no, okay. I really need to like farm and stuff because I'm kind of falling behind a little bit. Like Vi is already level four and I'm only level three. So I do need to like I do need to get back in this a little bit um, experience wise. And that obviously crap doesn't give me experience either. So that doesn't really help. I'm level four. Ah, I don't want to gank this. I don't want to gank this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, that's what I did. I just want to farm and I want to catch back up level wise, and then I should be good. Um, Panth really just needs to base because like Vega is based already, and he has spent his gold obviously. Um, Pantheon hasn't, so he needs to just base and come back to the lane. All right, he's actually going to do that, which is good. I just want to kind of rush six if I'm honest, so I kind of want to farm, but at the same time I don't really want to leave my lanes to just like suicide and stuff. Like Pantheon's obviously pushing his luck right now. Okay, whoa, that's fly fire flash down there. Um, so yeah. 
Rough fish. I just don't want to like feed these guys any kills or anything. While I'm trying to power up. While I'm trying to get level 6. Don't know where this guy actually is right now. I don't really know. He could just like go and then ult back. Like I don't really... Oh, that's his cage down there. <laughs> I don't know what he was expecting to happen there, if I'm honest. Like, really. Well, I was waiting for Brand, mate. I'm just going to excuse I'm not going to argue with him. If he calls me bad for that, then, you know, fair enough. But, like, I had to kind of wait for the Brand. Um... Oh, bollocks. What the hell? No, thank you. No, no, no. Don't want any part of this. No, no, no. Thank you. Okay. Alright, well, I did not expect Leona to just come and bomb me out of nowhere, but I should have flashed preemptively. I wanted to, like, flash her E, but, um, yeah, I didn't get a chance, <laughs> basically, which is pretty bad. But okay, so we got a uh, cool fields Warhammer, which gives us 10% cooldown reduction. We're about to hit six as well. This is why I'm like, I'm sad, I'm so far behind, dude. I'm trying to gank and like help my lanes and stuff, but I just need to farm. Like, Vi is already level six. She has seven more farm than me, but I think she's got some more like out of the lane. Well, that's good at least. If Leon is going to roam to kill me, then, um, you know, Lucian kills Corky, which is cool. As soon as we get six, we can do way more. Uh, probably just kill this guy over and over again, because like Pantheon is quite easy to gank for. He just jumps on them. If I get this, my red and stuff, I should be, you know, I should be good. That is that is an issue I'm going to probably be worried about for the entire game. Like, I don't really know if I can gank that, though, because Velcos doesn't really offer anything. And I feel like I'm really just going to do that 24-7. So, hopefully Velcos can survive and I can just um, snowball the rest of the map. That's kind of what I'm going to go for, I think. I don't really know if I can do anything, like, honestly. That's going to be the problem. And now I have my ult though, so just saying my eyes ready. I don't really want to go for there already <laughs> at all, I'm not gonna lie. Like this is almost up though. I feel like they're gonna probably go for that. So when Vega goes for the blue, which I'm assuming he will do soon, I can maybe jump on him. Okay, this is warded. That is what it like. He she just cut charges key for no reason. Um, I don't know why he had done that unless he was gonna. They know where I am. This is the problem. Like I'm just wasting time at this point. And it's a shame because if that wasn't what it, it was such a good gank. But you know. I should have gone and smite this first, I think, and then gone and done it because obviously I would have had the chicken smite then. I'm just gonna use my E over here for one stack on the dragon. I kinda wanna ult when I'm full stacks, right? So. Oh, damn, dude. Oh, I missed. That's not good. She's like right here at the moment, so. Thing is, if they engage, then we're gonna die. Oh, no, that's not good. This is why I hate playing this matchup, by the way. Okay, well, I just killed everyone, so I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? But Okay, well, I mean, if that happens, then that's fine. They just all stood on top, like, of me, basically. Um, I kind of want the dragon. They all just stood on top of me, and... Uh... Brand ulted and they just got blown up, but like normally that's why I don't like playing Rengar because everyone knows that that like thing as well. Like, everyone knows that you don't like as soon as Rengar ults, you hold it for him, and then as soon as he ults, you just kill him, and it sucks. Oh my god, Pant is just Pant is mega tilted. Why would you die, the Vega? <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be one of those games. Okay, so um, I could finish my wa warrior or I could go for more CDR. I think I'm just going to go for CDR right now. Don't really feel like I need to get anything else. What I will do though is just get a... Um, I'll upgrade my smite before I leave, I guess. I might as well, right? Sorry, 20... 20 gold. I'm going to get this so I can... Like, I want to make sure I'm not on wards in future if I'm going to ult and stuff. I don't want them to know immediately that I'm going to be there. Get this and then we'll... Uh, and we'll do... Yeah, we'll be fine. So... 
I guess my game plan is going to kind of change now because Pantheon is really... Um, really... Oh my god, he's getting boned. I don't really know what to do. Like, I want to kill the... You know, I want to kill Aurelia. I want to kill Vega. I want to help bot lane. But... This pant is just doing himself no favours at the moment. And the thing is, if I go to one of these lanes, right? If I go to one of these lanes and he gets turned around on me because Vi is there, then I feel like we just lose. Alright, well that works, I guess. I'm guessing by the question marks and stuff that, like... He, Rengar is just not so Rengar. Pantheon is just kind of messing up. Now he's not actually like, you know, he's just like going for the I don't care route, I guess. <laughs> Trying to just kill this guy 24-7 rather than actually like, you know, being smart about it or anything. So, yeah. Oh, Damn it, I should have flashed earlier. Oh, I knew that was coming as well. It was so stupid because like as soon as I saw Vagar here, I saw him leave and run directly over. Now, why in the world would he do that unless I was standing on a ward? But still, why would you do it even if you're standing on a ward? Or Vi is there. That's what I thought. Vi is probably right there, but I didn't think she could actually kill me, honestly. So I didn't think it really mattered. But apparently, you know, like she is really nailing me at the moment. Um, cooldown reduction boost doesn't really help me in that situation. I just had to run. But yeah, Vi is really good against Rengar, but I feel like I can just avoid her and still do fine. I'm going to have to just spend all my ults mid now, I think, and try and kill this Vega. I'm very afraid, though, of just like, going near and getting blown up. I mean, this is why I haven't ganked before, because I'm like, if I go and he just turns on me and ults me, I'm probably going to die, surely. That's not a good thing. So yeah, I don't know. I just feel like... Um, three, seven thousand gold. Holy crap, that's a lot of gold. Uh, I kind of want to go on this, but like I don't at the same time because I know Leon is here now. What I'll do is I'll smite this. Then if I know if we're going to see any, we'll be swiped by any wards, right? The, it's not actually the Leona I'm afraid of. It's the, um, the Vi being there as well or something. Okay, now he's pushing his luck. Like this is stupid. Oh my god, I missed my E there. Okay, it doesn't matter. Nice. So that's what we... Nice. I'm going to try and take this. I might... Maybe shouldn't have taken that from Pantheon, but I feel like I'm going to carry, so... I'm quite... You know, I'm quite selfish on Rengar, right? Like, I am I feel like I'm going to be the one carrying, not this guy, so... If I can just take the kills... Normally, like, as a jungler, I would leave them for my carries. Uh, if this guy had been playing better, I probably would have. But right now, I think it's probably not worth... Okay, so we're getting flanked by... Oh, no. She's coming in now. Don't know who this... Oh, this is probably Vagar, actually. I don't feel like that's a good TP there. I think that was probably... I don't know, actually. Maybe that was already a... My thought right there was that... Okay, this is probably Vagar with his TP. And then... Um, Aurelia is just going to flank from the side. So we'd end up getting, like, three people surprise in here, right? That was close. That was very close. I'm pretty sure I would have just died there instantly, so... Yeah, this Vel Velkos has played very well, actually. He died once, but he's still farming really well, so he's still going to be relevant later, which is nice. That's not good, though. Mm, that's one. Damn, um, man. I'm gonna go and kill the Corky, I think. He doesn't even have Triforce right now, so I don't feel like I'm in that much danger or anything. But we'll see. He might be warded, who knows. Nope, okay. Nice, okay. Picking up kills like this is, um, like, kind of, I don't know. This will help me snowball a bit more, and it will also uh, demoralize them. 
This is something I actually really like doing on, on Ring Eyes. I just like like pissing people off. I just want to make them angry so they play worse, you know? Like they get camped by a Rengar and you just get frustrated. So you're just like, oh, I hate this game. That's kind of what I want people to be like, you know? I want people to be pissed at me and it makes them play worse. Oh, he's like freezing this really hard. So that's kind of cool for us. That, oh, okay. He just used it. Uh, no smite, no smite. Oh, whoops, I just used my E instead of my Q, but that doesn't, it shouldn't matter. Okay. We're controlling dragons, well, this is the risky way to run. Oh, no, Velka's. I'm kind of worried here because I know three of them are mid. And Cage would just get this guy killed, so. Even though he made that look easy, like, running away, you know? Um... Oh my god, that already is really freezing this. He's still like, he's still behind in CS though. I can maybe... I really, I need to like help this guy though and like break it because... Yeah, uh, like she's just gonna hold this forever. But actually, she's still pretty even, so I don't think it really matters too much actually. Which is kind of funny because you'd have thought like it would have mattered a lot more. Yeah, I think actually, like, Velkoz is right here. What he could do is, like, he can do more than the... He can do more than the Pantheon cam right now, so... We could actually end up, like, just doing more. He's He's gone and warded, like, the down there, but okay. And there's a crab, but hopefully I can just, like, he can go and farm that, and then I Aurelia leaves. As long as I'm showing deliberately on the crab, by the way, even though I'm not actually going there, just so that Aurelia should bugger off now. Like, she's very... She how afraid she is. Because she thinks I'm coming top. And as long as she thinks I'm coming top, then Velkos can farm that for free, and she won't... He won't get dived either. Because one thing a lot of people would do is they freeze this forever. Yeah, they freeze this forever, and then they dive the person who's waiting for the wave. Because it's really... Like, if Velkos lost all of that farm there that he was going for, it would have been so bad for him. That's what like, one of the things junglers would do a lot. Okay, nice. As soon as I saw him step forward there, I was like, okay, we can do this. We should. This should be an easy game. Okay, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I just said was going to happen. Because this is normal. Like, as soon as you have this big of a freeze and stuff, then, yeah, the jungler comes top and just and dives. I could have gone top to try and, like, counter gank it or kill the Irelia, but I feel like grouping with Lucian because he's so strong is a better plan here. I don't think we should do that. We're going to lose this, but I don't think we can really dive that. So we lose two towers, but we get one. Not really worth it, I guess, actually, but it could be worse, right? I'm gonna see if I can pop my W over the wall. I can't, but it's... so actually we didn't even get we didn't even lose by tower, so that's really good for us. One for one, we got the Vega shut down as well, which is nice. I have three thousand gold right now. Holy fuck! I was not looking at my gold counter. Uh, Leon is right here. She just put his pink down, so I'm just gonna back off a second. I'm gonna go back and just spend. I think I can like almost afford it at Ghost, but I can't afford Ghost Bed out, right? Nice. So this is pretty much going how I would want it to go. They have 40% cooldown reduction now. I'm capped out on that, which is great. So next time we use my ult now, it's going to be 60 seconds. Every 60 seconds, I'm going to be ulting now. Nice. The solution is really far ahead at the moment. Wow. When their Irelia gets wrecked like that by Lucian, you know that, that uh, you know it's getting real now. Okay. All right. All right, I'll let you have that. Considering you are a monster at the moment. All right. Damn. First world Rengar problems when uh, you one-shot the the chickens so you can't actually stack the five on them. I'm just going to leave it. I don't know who else is here and... Um, yeah, I don't want to get like... Like, for example, if I have a show here, I think Leona would probably just... Um, 
ult me and I just die, so... Oh man, I might regret this actually, I don't know if I'll cause- Oh, damn dude. Okay. Pretty sure Valkyrie is over the wall. Damn, I thought I could jump over. Okay, I'm dead. I thought I could jump over the stun there, but unfortunately not. That's still not terrible. Probably we kind of threw our lead a little bit there. Okay, he just needs to run up though. No, don't go that way. I think the owner might catch you now. Oh no, they gave up. Okay, so Lucian's gonna get bot tower though. So I think that's actually overall it's worth, but like I could have played that better. I think honestly. Right, let's get a shiv now. This is kind of like, I, I like going shiv against squishy teams because you can just one-shot people, but that Velkos burst is an absolutely insane. So kind of thinking at the same time here, maybe I don't need to go full like damage on this guy now because you know we have, um, we have a lot of damage anyway. But at the same time, I kind of am worried about uh, Pantheon <laughs> like not really doing anything. And I think if I go, uh, if I if I start going tanky, we might actually not have enough damage if Pantheon is just like a wet flannel and he does nothing this game. So we'll see, we'll see. Oh, who knows? Who knows what we can do? Uh, I think Lucian might actually be dead. Oh no, he's gonna kill them. Okay, fair enough. One way of doing that, I guess. Damn, this guy is a freaking beast, dude. This is, this is what Pantheon is like in a nutshell, though. Like, he does nothing for ages, gets a few kills, and starts killing everybody. Alright, uh, let's just take this, I guess, and then we'll... Yeah, we'll take this, and then, um, go and try and kill somebody, I think. Like, we have a lot of damage now, so... I just need to find someone in the jungle. I'm just gonna put my pink here. I, I, I maybe should have kept it there, actually. It was, it was up here, and nobody had found it yet, which I thought was... Kind of strange. I actually thought someone had killed it, if I'm honest. They are all around there. That's really strange. I don't know where Irelia is either. She was in our jungle, but I think she just ran top and like left. But there, I've had this before where people were like, um, I don't know where they are, and like they've gone top. Like they've hid here, warded here, and then they just hide around a corner in a bush or something. And like they just kill someone and it's like from behind it's so really awkward because you don't know like you just don't know where they are right they can hide and yeah it makes it really difficult uh vega has a zonias now so oh yeah he's found my vega has a zonias so i'm gonna go and protect lucian i think i think they're more likely to go for the lucian than anything else uh i can't really blow up the vega anymore i'm gonna have to go for someone else probably corky Maybe even Irelia. But Irelia can just stun me, so I should have gone on that. She walked close enough for me to do that, and I was like, I should go. But I was a pussy, basically. I'm just going to ult and see if I can pick anyone up. Oh, it, wow, that roots me. Okay, I rooted him, though. I got him, I got him, I got him. Nice. I did not think that was going to stun me through... Uh, if I jumped through it, I didn't realize it would just cancel my jump. I thought I'd be able to throw at the same time, but apparently not. Well, today I learned. I haven't played this matchup before, so I didn't know that. I mean, looking back at it, it's kind of obvious. You jump into a sun, you get stunned, right? But, like, normally I would have thought I'd complete my jump. I have to be careful here, because I'm pretty low. <laughs> like, I, I don't... I'm not useful at all. But, like, they can still do this. I'm going to go pick up the bot lane. I think they can still... I mean... This is risky. Oh, dude. This is risky. How many times do I say this is risky and we just, like, lose? Oh, man. Okay, we have loads of damage there. Okay, what's my smite? 7, 6. Whoa! Okay, that died before I could even... Well, I did smite, but, you know, still. Ah, uh, yeah. That was a pretty nuts amount of damage. The solution is just like carrying really hard. Oh, he has an infinity edge. Whoa, he's four items. Holy crap, dude. When did that happen? Panther's two items and uh, everybody else is like three, two and a half. I mean, I've only got two and a half. I'm a jungler, I guess, but still. 
Okay, when I get my shiv, I can like start to um, one shot people. I think more than anything else. But like, as long as we don't screw up too bad, we should be all right. I think really. I'm gonna ult here and just see what I can get. If if I can remember, I can see if people are nearby or not. I'm not gonna make that same mistake this time. <laughs> ah, I just said I wouldn't do that. Why? Oh. oh, I just said I wasn't gonna do that, and I did it. Timed out before I thought. Okay, well we're gonna mop this up, but my bad. Uh, I thought the cage timed as I clicked on him, but it didn't time. He didn't uh, yeah, time me out. And the other thing as well is like with Rengar, you can do those normally for low risk because you can see people around with your ultimate, right? So I could like, for if if I really was sitting in this bush, I could have seen her, but she I, she wasn't there. So I couldn't see her to start with. She ran there. Um, I guess it's like a false sense of security in that way, right? Like uh, I thought I was safer and no one was around, but then she just turned up. So pretty, that's pretty bad, but we're still, we're still good, I think. Taking risks like that isn't too rough, but again, he is just literally one-shotting me. He's he's aiming his stuff at me, like his ultimate, and just pressing like whatever it is, left click or whatever, and just like almost one-shotting me. Um, thankfully, he doesn't actually one-shot me because that would be really seriously awkward. We should just group, I think, on push now. I have my ult back already. Like it's on such a low cooldown. Well, because he's going to get blue and then join us, I assume, so that's okay. I really want to get five stacks before we fight. I also want the buff, I think. Okay, that's nice. There we go. This is why I like Rengar, though. It's quite a risk-free engage normally. Like, you can just dive in like that and, you know, normally you don't get punished for it, so... Damn, dude. That's a lot of damage. Holy crap, okay. Alright, I think we can just end. I think we can end now. I'm gonna try and not die here. I'm even gonna use my stacks to heal because I don't want to die. Let's see if the curse continues, by the way, because I think I'm back in promos after this now. We'll see if um, I just get into promos and I just instantly lose. I always do this, right? Like, I lose, I get into promos, I lose two, I come out of promos, I win two, get back into promos. This is like a rinse and repeat. I don't know what is going on at the moment, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. I have qualified for a series. Nice. Okay, so that was a good game, even though I didn't really do too much, honestly, but it's, it's, uh, it's rare, to be honest, that, like, I am the lowest gold on my team. I mean, I'm still, like, joint the highest with their team, so it's not like I play terrible, but I didn't really do very much this game. I, like, I, I played better earlier and kind of snowballed my lanes quite well, but I didn't really, you know, I wasn't the late-game carry that I normally would be on um, Rengar, I guess, but it's still a pretty good game, I think. Oh, I forgot to change something. Hang on a sec. There you go. That's, that's supposed to be the overlay afterwards. I forgot. I forgot that that's actually supposed to be that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the video and I will catch you in tomorrow's episode.